So rehab at ICS has always been innovative. And our latest innovation is the introduction of a rehabilitation engineer. Lab Paradiso provides us an opportunity to meet our members in their homes, in their environments, and ask the questions, what are things that you can't do that you'd love to be able to do by yourself? So my role at ICS is to close, close that gap. Well, one example that comes to mind is this woman Jean and I worked with. She wanted to be able to control her hospital bed. Um, she wished to um, even be able to raise and lower her window shades so that like at night she could have it down to block the street light coming in so she could sleep better. First I set her up with Amazon Echo and I combined that with very, some things off the shelf and some things custom. Well, for the window shade to raise and lower it, I built a motor and set it up such that by saying to Alexa, Alexa trigger shade up or trigger shade down, um, it controls the motor and the shade will go up and down. Alexa, trigger shade down. Setting that to it. Alexa, trigger shade up. Setting that to it. The bed, she can similarly trigger, uh, raise the head of the bed, lower the, or raise or lower the feet of the bed, and in this way, if, just through her voice, uh, she can control all these things, which is really important to her, um, because she does have um, a, a limited use of her extremities. Uh, she has a weakness there, but her voice is good, so she can control all these things. For Sharon, uh, she wanted to. Um, it was very important to her to be able to use her use her phone. Movements uh, uh, below the neck are very very hard for her. Um, but she was able to, um, she could press with her cheek. So we set up with the receiver, there's, there's a button right about here, um, and she can, with her cheek, hit it. And in this way, she could take the phone off the hook, she could hang up the phone, it's all based off this button. So it will connect her to the operator, and she'll say to the operator who she wants to call, and it, the operator will complete the call for her. So she's able to use her phone again, which she uh, hadn't been able to do in years. So she's very excited about that. Call oh, it improved it about a thousand percent. I had no idea of the electronics involved. I just knew what I wanted to be able to use. I was pretty much uh, resigned to the fact that that's what I would have to deal with. And I mentioned to one of the therapists at ICS, you know, is there anyone who works with phone equipment who might know how to fix this or make something up for me? Six, seven months ago, I'm not sure when the timing was. Um, Eleni called me up and she said, we have a fellow and he's very creative and he works with electronics. And, you know, do you want to meet him? Maybe he can set something up. So he came over and he, uh, he listened and he, he looked at it and he said, you know, let me, let me draw some stuff up. And he, he worked out a way. He's using all kinds of relays and his own magic stuff, but he's very creative, really brilliant, honestly. And I, he came back. He, he I gave him. I have a lot of extra phone equipment, so I gave him a phone and the receiver. And he said, "Is it okay if I cut a hole in the receiver?" <laughs> I said, "Fine." Do you think you could put something together for him? And he was able to program it in such a way that I could open the line just normally if someone wants to dial it in, or if I hold the button another second, maybe the operator will come on. He bypassed the Verizon outgoing tape, he kind of bypassed the tape. And so if I hold it a second, I get half of a message, which is more than I want. And then it, the operator comes on. And I can, I can give her the, the number. Uh, and I just, I'm just, I can't tell you how happy I am to have Thrilled, actually. And that's it, Bob is, really very innovative and he's patient, methodical, everything creative. There's two things I want people to keep in mind. Uh, one is that it's, it's very much a team effort. Um, uh, 
members who are part of this service, uh, they, they, they need to invest some energy in this, but there's a huge payoff of a gained independence if they do. The, the last thing to keep in mind is, I just want people to be very open-minded about what's possible. Any, almost anything in their apartment, anything that's electronic at all, uh, we can tap into anything that has buttons on it or uses a remote, we can tap into that. So that is their, you know, their TV, anything in their entertainment system, fan, lamps, light, everything. Um, anything a person's having trouble with, we can help them to be able to have more independence over and control over uh, in their lives. So uh, if people would keep, keep an open mind, um, we can uh, really do some, some great stuff. So thank you.